I'm not coming here today to talk to you to talk about investment in Africa. Even though that is the topic. I'm coming here to talk to you today to tell you that there is something in you and me that needs to be burned so the next generations, like my brother said, can walk. Here where we stand. There is years from now, from back then, people who look like you and me couldn't walk here until you were a slave in the U.S. I was in Brazil last week, and I see my own people living in the, in the, in the shackle ghettos where they control all in guns and in drugs. You see what's happening all over Africa. You see what's happening in Haiti. You see what's happening wherever the diaspora is living. Something is wrong, man. We have to ask the question. Why is it like that? Why is it that everywhere we are, we are separated to each other? We hate each other. We fight each other. We uh, respect everybody. But you see another brother, black, coming to your own son, to your own brother. Why are we un son to our own sisters? Why can't we do business with one another? Why are we the last in the entire world being united? And I know each one of you we're talking about, well, Africa needs to be united. But we are not united over here. How come the small areas of Canada, we cannot be united as a diaspora, as he said, but then we want the continent to be united? That has to start from where we are. This is why I came here. I'm not come here to talk about. I came here to share something with you that I know tonight when I leave here. And I know, said Allah, there's going to be something there that's, that's going to wake all of us up that we have a mission that we have to fulfill. And, and, and if you don't fulfill this mission, then we fail the mission. It's either we are a part of the solution or we are a part of the problem. And I know me personally, Chon Young, my mission in the diaspora, in my continent, my part, is that I want to unite us. I want us to see where we fell and we can see the potential that we can bring together. We put our egos aside and bring something that never been seen in the world. We have to unite the continent, man. And it's not uniting country by country, it's by Looking at the brothers say, you know what? I trust you. I can do business with you. Your organization, my organization, let's do like tonight. I'm, I love what I see here tonight. Because you brought all the organizations together to be in one place for one purpose. A higher purpose. A common purpose. Finding a solution for all of us. The energy we have here tonight, and I know, will do much more than what we see here. Millions can born from this, and the true change we, can, we want to see in the continent can be born from here. Because the change we've seen in decolonizing our continent was born in small rooms of young Africans like you who end up going back and change the continent. So there's no small people who can change. President Obama told us that change can happen when small numbers of people are dedicated to sacrifice to make something happen. Millions will follow. If Nkrumahs and them can, can change the continent, they left us with a lot of work. What is the work they left us with? Politically, they were able to do it. Economically, they couldn't finish it. Now it's our turn. If we don't finish this economic freedom, our children will be able to finish it. We have to give them something. What are we going to give them? Thank you. Thank you.